It all happened one Friday night in May. The Ha had come in with the tide that morning, and it was into that fog that Barry Cuder, first mate on board the Peggy Sue, paid off and never returned. He was found late that evening, lying in one of the eight foots between the houses on Albion Street. It wasn't exactly what you'd call natural causes, too much blood for that. And that was why I was called in. They've come to ask us what we know about Barry. Well, absolutely nothing as far as I'm concerned. Mm. I knew his face and that's about it. Well, same goes for me. I mean, he wasn't the sort to come in and introduce himself to your parents. <laughs> well, he did turn Alexandra's head, that's for sure. But I always thought there was something fishy about him and I'm not talking about him being on the dock. Trawler. Oh, well, a man like that has a girl in every port. Mm. Mind you, the Peggy Sue only docked in Grimsby. <laughs> I told Paula I didn't like the company she was, he was keeping. Well, I saw him walk past the shop with Tim and Sly, and everybody knows them into black market trading. Tim's small stuff, but Sly, well, he's got a bit of a reputation round the town. Anybody mixing with that sort of company is not the sort that you want dating your daughter. Well, all I can say is he didn't make it up this end of the street. I've been in the shop and it's been quiet all day. Now, on a shift, I can vouch for her because she came in. She must have come into some money because she bought some stockings and her purse was bulging. Oh, unless she got paid today, of course. Well, if she was, then why did she come to my place just as I'm locking up to pawn that watch? Well, it wasn't worth anything. Still, I gave her a bit to keep her going just for a time. <laughs> it's never just the victims. Folk don't understand that. Murder affects those left behind. The family, the friends. Nothing ever looks the same way again but all the sympathy in the world wasn't going to help me catch this killer. And by the sound of things, Barry wasn't the sort of man people were going to be shedding any tears over.